Con congrats on the the win, Kai. Uh, initial thoughts off of after an insane fight like that. Uh, you know, best feeling in the world. Uh, it, yeah, it's kind of hard to put into words, but <clears throat> just so proud of myself. You know, taking a coming off a loss, getting back in the win column. Um, I knew it was going to take a lot tonight. I just had to stay focused. Um, especially, you know, seeing a teammate lose just before I'm about to walk out. Uh, but I knew, you know, my, my experience would get me through this night. So with, with the, the storm and, and um, just had to uh, let the cannon out, you know, live up to this nickname and, and just throw off bad intentions. So um, I, I knew the finish would be there. Um, just had to be patient. And um, there it was. So vintage Mark Hunt walkway knockout. So. Uh, shout out to Mark Hunt. Well, you mentioned a little bit of a weird sequence at the end. You got the walk off and then ran back. It looked like you were going to throw another punch, and then Herb Dean stopped it. And then I don't know if you saw, but your opponent threw his mouthpiece at you. I guess he was mad at you or something. So what exactly happened at the end? So in New Zealand, you know, when we greet each other, being moldy, we touch each other's noses. So when I saw him hongi the mat, face plant, you know, the mat, I knew it was over. Um, the connection was... Um, you know, full impact, and I knew <clears throat> that the, it was just going to get even worse if I jumped on him. So I'm not there, you know, to, to do more damage than needed to be. Um, I know my coaches are saying, you know, finish him off. <laughs> but I, I knew that the fight would already been fit, already been finished. So, um, you know, I'm glad the, the fight was stopped and Herb, Herb Dean did a good job. But um, ultimately, you know, I'm glad I got the win um, and, and glad to get the win for my son. Um, I'm a new, new father of uh, my, my son's three weeks old now, so um, different kind of motivator coming into tonight. You know, I, I wanted to um, do him proud, and, and um, that was on the back of my mind the whole time. Yeah. Well, I, you mentioned it, the, your, the, your newborn son. Like, coming into the fight, obviously, it's a motivating factor, but is it a different feeling now winning that you have a, a newborn son? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, it's... It's, I'm not doing, doing this sport for myself now, you know, I'm doing it for my family and put it, putting food on the table and um, yeah, it, it's, it's a different kind of love and it's something that I've never ha felt before and um, I just had to channel it and, and use it tonight to, to my advantage so um, I guess, you know, that dad strength was in full effect and um, <laughs> um, to get the finish, you know, and finally live up to my nickname, Don't Blink. You got a taste of it in the Ultimate Fighter um, season 24 and, and tonight, um, you know, we we finally got it. It took seven fights, but we, we got we got we finally got it. And then you got, it seems like you got stuck in a neck crank for a better part of that round. I don't know if you heard, but Daniel Cormier said he's done about four or five times before you finally got out. So how tight was that? Come on, DC, give me a bit more credit. I know it's city kickboxing, but we train jujitsu and wrestling just just as much, if not more. Uh, but yeah, it, I wasn't in too much danger. You know, I could feel him squeezing, but you know, it wasn't really too tight on me. Um, and in my head, I'm like, just get up. What am I? What am I doing? Just get up. And then eventually, you know, I re reversed the position, and um, then yeah, I just had to um, just touch him, and, and then I could see him getting tired. And doing our homework, we knew he was going to come out hard, hard and fast. And and um, you know, he does get slower as the fight goes on. So um, I knew the finish would be there, and um, you know, I'm I'm glad to you know, move up in the rankings, not just you know tie with someone, and and. Um, you know, hopefully get a top five than my next opponent. I was going to say, do you have any names in mind? I know Askar Askarov just got a big win. You got yeah. the title fight coming up. So any specific names in mind? You know, I've got a lot of, I've uh, got a few losses on my record from, from guys that are above me. You know, Ravel, Pantoja from the Ultimate Fighter, Moreno just um, drew with the champ. So um, all these fights were close decisions, you know, and, and Ravel, you know, it was a close fight between me and him. Um, I did get submitted, but, you know, for half of that fight, I was out on my feet. You know, that elbow was th what did the damage. And you could see that tonight. You know, my, my jiu-jitsu is, is legit, and I, I do know how to get out of submissions. Um, but when you're, you know, out on your feet, you're going off instinct. So, um, you know, I, I haven't got anyone in mind. You know, I'll go back with my team, and, and we'll, we'll come up with a name. And for now, you know, I just want to go back to New Zealand, enjoy my time off with my son. You know, I, I've barely, you know, been able to hold, hold him. Um, we, we have one, uh, two excuses at our gym at City Kickboxing for not being at training. And it's either the birth of your child or getting married. And the same day my son was born, after he was born, I was still at training that same day. So I was focused for this fight, you know. I, I, I definitely wanted to, um, you know, make a statement and, and I was sacrificing it for something bigger, you know. And, and f you could see that tonight, you know. I was, I was there, um, I, was in, I was present and... Um, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, do my son proud. So um, you now, now I can go home and celebrate with the family. Cheers. Hey, Kai. Yep. So we've heard about, you know, Dan Hooker's odyssey to return home. Are you about to go through the exact same thing, you, Israel, and Carlos, to get back to New Zealand? 
Yeah, so it's, so for me and the team, um, we, we head out on Tuesday, um, and then we go into quarantine in New Zealand for two weeks. So I actually get out the day before my my birthday. So um, you know, bittersweet, but um, at least I'll be in the same city as my family. You know, so they can come visit. We can't obviously um, have physical connection, uh, but I can see them through the fence and. You know, it's the next, next best thing. So I'll be in the same city, I just can't see them. We'll be in a managed isolation, and it's just um, the protocols in New Zealand right now. But, um, you know, so blessed to be able to travel and do my job. So many more people are doing it rough than me, and, and um, you know, I'm just I'm privileged and to be able to rep represent New Zealand on this world stage. You know, it means everything to me and everything to our team. So, yeah, I can't, can't wait to go back home and celebrate. Just so fans know, so what day is your quote-unquote release date from quarantine back home, do you know? Should be the 25th of March. So my birthday is okay. 26, yeah. All right. And then uh, secondly, you know, obviously seeing Carlos uh, have his fight the way it goes yeah. shortly before yours. Can you just walk us through that? Obviously, you're in the back. I know the TV's playing. Just what's going through your mind and just how to get past it? Yeah, it's, it's always tough, you know, watching teammates, um, you know, take, take losses. And just before I'm about to go fight, um, it's something that I've had to learn in life not to absorb, um, you know, situations or energy. Don't let it consume you. You, you just got to take it as it comes, but you, you don't absorb it. So when that happened, you know, I, I knew I just had to um, refocus and, and know that, you know, that doesn't affect me. I'm going in there and doing my job. Um, and I knew I had a job to do, especially with my team here. You know, they're coming back to the corner and, and they're, they're, they're cornering me now just after seeing that. Um, I, you know, I had to, I put pressure on myself to be like, you know, I got to turn this around and, and pick the energy back up, especially with my, my, my teammate, you know, fighting for a second title tonight. Um, you know, we, we want to um, bring him into this fight on a high. So um, I know he would have been celebrating back at the hotel and, um, you know, Carlos will learn from him um, from this night, having his only his debut fight. So um, he'll learn from it and he'll come back. Um, you know, I train with the best guys in the world. We've got the best team in the world, City Kickboxing. Um, with the best head coach, Eugene Behrman, you know, and tonight I just had to listen and, and stay clear-headed and um, I guess, you know, be, uh, weather the storms and, and just back yourself and tonight, you know, that's what I was saying my whole walkout coming into this, I'm the best in the world, just got to let everyone know, so I'm glad I could live up to that and I'm, I'm proud of myself for, you know, getting back in this one column. One last quick one, we know after the last event in Abu Dhabi, all of the teammates came to be with Israel, win or lose, you know, in his main event. Yeah. Is the same plan for you, Carlos, and everybody to be there, or is protocols not letting you guys stick around? Yeah, I'm not too sure yet. Um, you know, hopefully we can all be there and celebrate, you know, live in the back. But if, if not, you know, we'll, we'll be at the hotel celebrating and, and you know, cheering our teammate on and, um, yeah, watching us, watching him do history. You know, this is... This is we're witnessing the, the one of the one of one of if not the greatest of all time. So I, I'm just you know in awe and inspired every day at training. Every day I get to spend a minute with that guy and and just kind of rub shoulders and and it just oozes out of him you know that that um, that kind of mindset you know he 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 believes he was the greatest you know along before anyone else did and, and um, you know it's a great role model to to aspire to be like and um, you know privileged to be able to. Um, be a good good teammate and a great friend. Yeah. Thank you. So okay, just What's up, brother? I don't know if you noticed there's a new clock yep. in the cage. Was there any time on the ground where you're in a, a choker submission you could look over and see how much time you got left or anything like that? I did look at once. I saw a minute. And I was like, okay, I need to get up. <laughs> I need to get up. I need to do something. Yeah, I'm, lo I'm losing this round. And then that's when I kind of reversed it. And then um, I kept it standing. So, yeah, I, I knew that... I Oh, he was getting tired. I could hear him in my ear, breathing real heavy. And I, I was like, okay, I need to turn it up now and, and uh, uh, you know, put him away. So I, I'm glad it all worked out. Congrats, man. Thank you. I can't let uh, DC go down alone. There was a, a point, I think, where Rogan said you were doomed. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there was, was there any point in, in any of those? Was, was one attempt more precarious than any of the others where that... I know you said that you practice all these sort of things. Was there any moment where one was maybe a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more precarious than any of the other ones? Yeah, it was when I slammed to the, slammed um, on my back. That was getting tighter. But it wasn't the choke. It was the, the body triangle the body that was triangle. getting well, it was getting tighter. But, you know, it's not going to stop me. It's just getting tight. So um, I did, yeah, I just had to just ride it out. I did stay calm. Um, control my breathing and, and eventually my coaches were doing giving me the right advice it's, they just said prioritize the hands don't don't worry about anything else just worry about those hands so um, 
yeah, it all worked out. And, um, you know, p people could say that was a weird stoppage and, and, and whatnot, but um, when, I, when I landed that, that last punch, you know, I, that was all she wrote, Mark Hunt, Vintage, Walkaway Knockout, and um, that's why I didn't really follow up. You know, I didn't need it to have any more damage than needed to be. So, yeah, I'm just glad to get the win. And my last question actually is about that follow-up. Did you feel and uh, Herb kind of grab you around the waist when you sort of stopped yourself? And did that sort of signal to you that the fight was over at that point as well? Yeah, it kind of all happened so fast where I didn't really realize <clears throat> if he was still, you know, day, uh, still awake or not. I just saw his face hit the mat. And once that kind of happens, you know that the ref's going to jump in eventually. So, um, yeah, I, I should have, you know, followed up. But um, that's just the fight game. And... Um, it, all, it all worked out, so I can't really, yeah, it, I'm happy, happy days for me, and uh, I'm just glad to get the win, and I'm and, um, looking forward to my next fight. Obviously looking forward to spending time with my son right now, though. Congrats. Cheers, brother. Thank you. I don't know if you already addressed this, but af afterwards, you ran back towards him as if you're going to hit him again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I was running around thinking, you know, it's over, and then my coach is like, "It's not finished," and I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll hammer fist him or something," because he was still kind of dazed. And then um, Herb Deem said, "No, no, no, it's over." So I said, "Okay, sweet." Um, did, did you realize that he threw his mouth guard towards you? No, nah, like I didn't. I didn't even know. So it is what it is, you know. I've been on the receiving end of of um, taking losses before, and yeah, it's just how it goes. Sometimes um, you don't mean to be out on your feet, but sometimes your body's just doing what it, um, it's just going off autopilot. So uh, I'm sure he, you know, he'll, he'll bounce back from that loss. And um, the division's so good right now. You know, the flyweight division right now, there's three fly, flyweight fights tonight, all been exciting. Um, and it just shows full credit from where we were three years ago, where people were saying, you know, my UFC debut, what does it feel like to be the last flyweight fight ever in the UFC? And I was like, I haven't even fought yet. But now, you know, looking back at it, Full circle now, we're in the best position we've ever been in, in, the, in the UFC and everyone's excited to watch us and it's just, it's so competitive. Anyone in this top 10 can be anyone and um, that's what I love about it, being, I guess, a part of that movement and having a, having a piece to uh, play for, to, uh, to be a face for the UFC, uh, UFC flyweight division. Um, yeah, I'm just proud of everyone for kind of throwing down and, um, you know, there's always been at, one, at least one flyweight getting a bonus, which is awesome. And, um, you know, tonight it's full credit to, to our division and, and it, it doesn't stop. There's so many great matchups to be made and um, I'm sure, you know, there'll be matchups to be made from the winners tonight. Now, I know you said it kind of all happened really fast with the yeah. knockout, but you did say it was your Mark Hunt walk away. So it, 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 did he really stop the fight or you kind of just like the guy's done, I'm out of here? Like, if you've knocked people out before, which, you know, this is my 10th knockout on my record, you just know when you land flush. And when I landed on that chin, it, it, you just know that the, the guy's not going to get back up. And when he's face planted down, yeah, you just know it, it's all done. And if, if he was to stand up, it's just going to happen again. So, um, yeah, I'm glad it all worked out. And, yeah, I got the one. Congratulations. Thank you. All good. Cheers, guys. Thank you.